everyone and welcome back. So I am going to give a lecture today again and uh, the topic is locomotion and movement. So we move, my hand is moving and uh, I am changing my position from this place to this place. So when my hand is moving, it is a movement. But when I am changing my place from one place to another place, then it is locomotion because I am locating. So, all the movements <coughs> are not locomotion. But all locomotion are movement. Clear? So, when a hand is moving, my body posture is changing. But when I am changing my position from here to here, then it is a locomotion. Wide variety of living organisms are living in different habitats. They have adapted themselves to their environment. So, a variety of locomotion is there. How? Like there can be an amoeboid movement, there can be a ciliary movement, there can be a flagellar movement and in us there are muscular movement. Okay, so it can be amoeboid movement like in case of the amoeba. What happens? It moves with the help of the pseudopodia. The pseudopodia are called as the false feet and because of the streaming movement of the protoplasm, they move. It also helps them to procure their food. So, amoeboid movement because of the false feet, that is pseudopodia. This movement is also observed in us. This is a blood vessel. So, when any foreign particle is attacking, so what will happen? The WVC will move out of the blood vessel to engulf it to phagocytos. And that movement of WBC out of the blood vessel is called as diapedesis. Ciliary movement. This is sleeper animal. It has contained a large number of cilia. Paramecium. And the movement is because of the cilia. It also helps to capture food and directly into the cytopharynx. From the ciliary movement is also observed in our nose, in reproductive tract. So, there is a ciliary movement. It is, the canal is uh, uh, lined by lots of, lots of uh, cilia so that we can exhale out the dust particles. Flagellar movement is obtained in the uvula. It moves with the help of the flagella. Muscular movement in our body, the hand is moving. So, this is the muscular movement and uh, Bone to bone attachment is called as the ligament and an attachment of a muscle to a bone is called as tendon. So we have seen the types of movement. So the movement can be amoeboid, it can be flagellar, it can be ciliar and it can be muscular. Simple way to remember ACMF. AMFC. Name of an exam. Arm Force Medical College. Coming next is the three types of muscles. So one is the movement in our body which is under my control. I want to write, then I can write. This is a voluntary in my will. I don't want, I, I can I guide my body? Oh, the food should remain in the stomach and it should not move in the intestine. I cannot do that. So it is not under my will. It is involuntary. Heart pumps each and every second to pump the blood throughout the body. 5 liters of the blood is pumped throughout the body. So this is cardiac. Okay. Begin. Three types of muscles we have. One is skeletal muscle which is attached to our skeleton. Then is the <clears throat> visceral muscle which is attached to our visceral organs. And the third is the cardiac. You know, our 8% body weight is because of the blood and almost 40 to 50% of our body weight is because of this muscles. 65%, almost 65% is water. So, this is a human body composition. So, skeletal muscles, they are as per skeletal, as per stripe. Alternate light and dark bands are present. Another name is straighted. It includes all the movement like walking, typing, writing. So they are under a will. So they are voluntary muscles. And one more character from S that is sensitium. 
multinucleate condition. A lot of nuclei are present. So, it is multinucleate. Alternate light and dark bands are present. Strike. Whistle muscles, they are found in the smooth. They are smooth muscles in the canal and non striated non striped involuntary because we cannot control the movement. We cannot control the food should remain in the stomach. It should not move into the intestine. So these are all involuntary movements. Coming back, the wall of the heart, four chambers of heart. The heart wall is made up of the cardiac muscle. It is a combination of both. Function wise it is involuntary and structure wise it is similar to skeletal. So it consists of the branched Uni, you have two nucleate, then intercalated disc is present in them and alternate light and dark bands are present. It is a spindle shaped muscle. Only one spindle shaped muscle. Single nucleus, uni nucleate. So, these are the types of the muscle, which is skeletal muscle, which is voluntary muscle, smooth muscle, involuntary muscle and cardiac muscle, which work every second effortlessly, tirelessly to pump the blood throughout the body. And it works without fatigue. It doesn't take rest even for a second. Now, let us see the anatomy of the skeletal muscle. We said alternate light and dark band. Okay, so these are... Dark bend, this is light bend. Dark bend, this is light bend. Dark bend, light bend, dark bend and light bend. So the light bend is called as the high bend. And the dark bend is called as the A bend. Isotropic band and isotropic band. It is made up of thin and thick filament. Which protein is present? In eye band, there is actin protein. In dark band, there is myosin protein. You have already understand that organization, cellular organization, what is the smallest structural and functional unit of life? That is a single cell. Similarly, the smallest unit of contraction in the muscle is the sarcomere. Now, let's see what is this sarcomere, the smallest unit of contraction. The center of the eye band is called as the Z line or cross membrane. The distance between the two consecutive Z line is called as the sarcomere. The center of the A band is called as the H zone and the center of the X is called as the M line. Okay, now let's see the property of muscle, why the muscle is so important. We are studying this muscle because of this. Simple way, EQ C square is the property of the muscle. Now let's see what is E. E stands for excitation. Brain, spinal cord gives signal to a muscle. So they get excited. Action potential is generated. They respond to the stimulus which they receive. Then another E for extensibility. They can be extended and they can be relaxed. Elasticity. They can regain their original shape, size, contraction. They contract and relax. Then another C for conduction of impulse. So what brings a movement in our body? The coordinated activity of our brain, nervous system it is also involuntary. So autonomous nervous system is also there. But nervous system, then it is skeletal system and the muscular system. All the coordinated work brings the movement in our body. Next, moving forward. Now, let's see what the structure of the sarcomere is. How a contraction and relaxation brings the movement in our body. Okay. Before that, let's see how the myofilament. A muscle fiber is made up of the many, like a rope they are arranged. Fascicles, fasciculi, parallel rows of these myofilament. The plasma membrane is called as sarcolima. Now let's see the structure of a single muscle fiber. It is made up of two proteins. One is actin and one is myosin. 
let's see how the polymerization occurs and how this is arranged so monomer is the g active they are the globular protein globules in the presence of mg plus 2i the globular proteins will form the two helically coiled affected so this is affected two helically wrapped proteins around each other so this is affected now there will be again two filaments which is the regular interval will bind on this affected this another protein is called as the tropo myosin and at some places of tropo myosin it marks the binding site with myosin and they are called as the tropo nin so globular protein mg plus 2 and affectant tropo myosin and tropo nin this contribute the whole structure of the thin filament actin filament now come the myosin what happens in the myosin is that it consists of the this type of a structure head cross arm and tail now head consists of two binding site one is for the atp binding site which is the universal currency of energy and one is the actin binding site which will bind to this thin filament the thick filament is made up of myosin head cross arm and tail what is the monomer of this myosin head is made up of heavy mero myosin and tail is made up of light mero myosin now let's see the famous sliding filament theory how the i bends slide over each other to make a body contract and then relax okay let's see it's a amazing story of a bollywood hero heroine type of an interaction now let's see how it comes so what happened in a bollywood movie there is a heroine so this heroine in a sliding filament theory is represented by this affected and who is the hero hero here is this heavy and light mero myosin okay this some word like that not good at blending them so this is myo sin cross arm actin binding and this now this is hero and this is heroine heroine is always protected by bodyguards so who are the bodyguards over here they are tropo now neural and plate there comes a neural signal to it okay so whenever the neural muscular there will be a release of a neurotransmitter which is called as the acetylcholine now what what will happen from the sarcoplasmic reticulum there will be a liberation of the calcium ion now the calcium ion will act as a food bodyguards are hungry they require food whenever food will be available they will get attract towards it so calcium go and bind with this troponin the binding site for the myosin is now exposed hero will get a chance to meet the heroine so the hero will go as a tpc get bind with calcium the hero will go and will bind or will meet the heroine during this process what is breaking down currency nahi aayega the money well for which they are working lost to be adp is lost now when the signal goes away and the bodyguards are fulfilled with their calcium ion what will happen unhe yaad aayega we have to protect the heroine they will go back because boss ki yaad aayegi and who is the boss what it provides energy universal currency of energy is atp atp forms again it will go and bind on to this myosin calcium will go and bind on to this and this cross arm will break up because of the formation of atp the cross arm will break here comes the contraction hero heroine will meet and as the bodyguard return back after having food they relax and come back to protect the heroine again hero will go away so this is relaxation sliding filament theory given by huxley and huxley cross arm breaks because of the dissociation of atp molecule relaxation occurs cross arm sorry cross arm forms and cross arm breaks because of the formation of again atp molecule so in this way 
a hero heroine type of an interaction occurs for the moment and always what you have to remember is during contraction only the length of i band this is light band this is dark band this is light band this is red line sarcomere so whenever there will be a action potential stimulus will come what will happen the length of the i band will reduce a band will remain as such and i band will be like this so the length of i band reduces but the length of a band remain as such during the contraction now who is the energy source in our body that is the atp and what is the power house of our body mitochondria so on the basis of the presence of a quantity of mitochondria the muscle fibers can be of two type let's see that is red fibers and white fibers red large amount of the mitochondria form more amount of the myoglobin the respiratory pigment of the muscle will be formed while in white fibers what will be happen the amount of the mitochondria will be less and the amount of the sarcoplasmic reticulum will be more so we have gone through the muscles and that thank you for watching